how to install Red Hat Ansible Automation Hub. So first of all, what is Automation Hub and why do I need it in my system? So it's part of a Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform, the enterprise grade version of Ansible. So if you jump directly on the page, you see that the Automation Hub is very important for Ansible content collection, especially the one certified by Red Hat and Red Hat Partner. So basically it's a repository where you can find out some content already created by somebody else that you are ready to use. It's certified by Red Hat or his partner, for example, Avista, Aruba, Checkpoint, Cisco, CyberHark, Dynatrace, IBM, SAP, ServiceNow, and so on and so forth. There are two ways of interacting with this content on the cloud or with a private automation hub. A private automation hub is actually an instance registered in our system, whereas a cloud service is the one hosted directly by Red Hat and maintained by them. So you can choose what is more convenient for you. Usually, large organizations prefer private automation hub to publish some private content in this directory and interact with that, whereas a small organization prefer the cloud version. So how to access the cloud version of private automation hub? Well, at the end of the day, also the private automation hub will fetch this content from them. You need to log in to your hub and is requesting a Red Hat account and an active subscription. So you jump directly to the Red Hat hybrid cloud console and uh, you just uh, scroll down to the Ansible automation uh, platform. As you can see in the right panel, there is automation hub with a direct link of the collection. So these are the full list of available collection. As you can see, there are plenty of content, 161 divided in 17 pages. You can see also more accurate view with a full list. It's incredible the amount of resources that are actually available. So you can spend days just scrolling down. And as you can see, all this collection has plenty of module and plugin. This is what uh, Ansible define battery power. Uh, and this content I maintain it directly by that and his partner. As you can see, there are like uh, the best uh, partner worldwide that maintain this kind of stuff. You can also interact with uh, some underlying task and define it, um, the token. So every time you need to access some content, you need actually a token to refresh the content uh, from online. It's just for authentication in this directory. So basically you just need to type this comment, comment on your client and you are able to access all this content. Now clear? So this was the cloud version of Ansible Automation Hub. Now let's have a fun with a private automation hub. So let's imagine that you would like to install uh, the private automation hub, so an instance in your system. Jump in this product page of a customer portal and uh, link on the download section. Find it out Ansible Automation Platform and in a blink of an eye, you will be ready to download the latest version. At the moment of recording this video, Automa Red Hat Ansible Automation Hub is available version 2.4 and you can choose the operating system. In my case, REL9 is OK. And the CPU architecture, since 2.4 is supported also the ARM architecture. So I'm able also to run on the latest uh, Apple hardware. So there are two flavors that you can decide to download the online edition that is just a few megabyte or the bundle. The bundle is a bit bigger, but it's the preferred version because it downloaded all the binaries that you needed as well also execution environment and all the containers. So is my preferred way is two gigabyte of data. So you might need to take a while downloading your network, but it's worth it in my opinion. So let me download the bundle and move forward. 
Well done, we just need to wait till download is completed and move out to our terminal. So this is the machine that actually will accommodate the uh, private automation hub. So at the end of the day, we are going to have this tarball with, let's decompress with a standard tal with ZXVF option. And uh, let's wait. This is a standard tarball, so we need only to decompress in the current directory. It might take just a few moments depending on the performance of your machine. Inside this bundle, as you can see, there are many RPMs that are actually the packages installed in our system with all the dependency for our operating system as well also the Red Hat and Sybil Automation installer that will be a bunch of procedure that uh, we are going to see in action in a few moments. Everything is uh, um, created on top of Ansible, so you might will be familiar. And actually, we just need to customize one inventory file um, to define what type of installation we are going to perform. So it came out with like a simple template. We just need to add our system in this inventory file and we are good to go. On uh, uh, under the hood is going to perform a lot of interesting operation. But now let's keep it simple. Let's remove a tarball just to save space on the disk and move forward in the directory. Okay, as expected, we have an inventory file and setup.shell file. Uh, this is nearly two gigabytes of data on the disk. So let's edit the inventory file we can do it in a lot of different ways i think that the preferred way will be using a text editor in my case let me use a vi and let me show you how simple it is to install one single uh, private automation hub with an internal database postgresql managed by the installer this machine is called ah.example.com and this is in my domain. So as you can see, this is a simple text file with some section already defined. So let me add my machine under the automation hub section, ah.example.com. And I'm going to run the installer from this machine. So let me add the additional parameter Ansible underscore connection local. So we skip the SSH connection and we save a little bit of time. So we need also to define some variable underneath this section. Initial section is for controller. Let's scroll it down and find out all the lines that began with automation hub underscore. So let's define the admin password for the web UI. In my case, let me keep it simple, read that the PG host is the Postgres database host that will be the same host and let me set it out also the password for the database. Keep it simple, read that, but you can customize as much as you want it. In the end of the day now we are good to go, we just need to uh, switch to the uh, root user with the capabilities of installing the packages on the system and execute the setup uh, shell. One error that you might encounter, especially if you are running in a laboratory with a limited amount of memory, let me remind you that the minimum amount is 8 gig supported by that. But if you are in a laboratory, you just want to test it out, you might end up testing in a smaller machine. For example, this machine has only 4 gig of RAM. And uh, there is uh, this file, collection, Ansible collection, Ansible automation installer, role, preflight, default, uh, main, that uh, you just need to customize and lower the limit. This is just uh, for uh, um, supportability, so it doesn't affect any other aspect of the system, but I recommend not to lower below 4 GB of RAM because there are so many components, the Pulp, the Nginx, the PostgreSQL, there are so many components under the hood that uh, are actually mm, uh, composing the automation hub. So the installer is now running, we just need to wait and everything will be populated with uh, all the containers, all the file, all the necessary components from uh, not only the, the packages from 
from the installer all there will be created some users on the system there will be uh, defined uh, uh, the collection everything will be good to go in our system and uh, well it is a lot of things actually under the hood and it's very fascinating that everything will be run using Ansible. I was spinning up uh, the performance just because uh, now is a good moment to grab a cup of coffee or a mug of tea and uh, chill out for a while uh, while uh, the uh, installer is performing this operation. Um, so under the hood everything will be created, the main software will be installed configured and deployed the, all the collection provided with Ansible Automation Platform. Uh, when it will be ready, we just need to connect our Ansible controller and we will be ready to use this instance in our network as well as publish new content inside this uh, wonderful directory. Think about uh, this is the enterprise version of the Ansible Galaxy, if you are familiar with the community version, that uh, is going to accommodate all the certified content directly from Red Hat. I was speeding up the video because these are a bunch of text that you are going to see on the screen. So in the end of the day, you're going to see this message that certify that the installation was successful on our system. As you can see, the setup process completed successfully. Now the fun began. So we can connect finally to our web UI and start using the UI and the RESTful API. So let's jump in a browser we can execute uh, all over our network let me open firefox here on this machine and uh, type the full qualified domain name for this host that is ah.example.com in my case as username the first user created is admin with a password defined in the inventory file in my case red hat and boom we are already in the main dashboard as you can see there are already plenty of content already populated with a module and plugin that we are good to go to execute. Uh, we are exp let's expand the collection section. As you can see, all the collections are um, grouped in namespace and we are going to fetch some remote repository and we can create an API token for local machine to connect to. Uh, Automation Hub is also storing the execution environment of our system, so it will be very useful if we have some custom execution environment to store here. We can configure also user access, creating some role and assign to our user. So this is the private Ansible Automation Hub and now the sky is the limit. Feel free to use the content from Red Hat and their partner or also create your own. So I can't wait to hear your success story about Automation Hub and let's automate more. Yay!